Today, we're gonna to be talking about how to use a third-party gateway on T-Mobile 5G home internet. And specifically, we're gonna be talking about the Next Pro 5G gateway from Haven Technologies. Now, this gateway does come in two different firmware variants, but for this video specifically, we're gonna be focusing on the Wi-Fi X model. Now, if you're looking for the Mesh Plus model, I'm gonna throw a link up here for you guys so you can check out that video. Now, in order to do this, you do need to revise or clone your IMEI number from your T-Mobile provided gateway. Now, I wanted to make sure that I wasn't gonna get in trouble when I was doing this, and I also wanted to make sure that you guys weren't gonna get in trouble from me sharing this information. So I did reach out to T-Mobile, and they assured me that there is no issue with cloning the IMEI number, it is not illegal to do in the United States, and they actually don't have a problem with us using third-party gateways on their 5G home internet service. They said there would be no blacklisting, we wouldn't be fined, there would be nothing, no repercussions from doing this. And full disclosure, I've been using these gateways for about three months now, give or take, and I haven't had a single issue, my bill hasn't changed, I've had nothing adverse happen to me or my account by doing this. Now that we got all that out of the way, you need to write down the IMEI number off of the back of your T-Mobile 5G home internet gateway, and once you have that done, we're gonna hop on over to the computer. I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do in order to get this set up. I reset my gateway or restored it to factory defaults so that we could walk through this together step by step. And what you guys are gonna to wanna to do though is you wanna make sure that your device is powered on and that you have your SIM card installed. And then we're gonna to go to 192.168.1.1 in a web browser and that's gonna take you to this splash screen. And then to log into the router's firmware, we're just gonna select router login here at the top. And that's gonna take you to this page, but we don't have a password set yet. So all you need to do is select login. And then from there, you're gonna get a warning that says, hey, you don't have a password set, so if you'd like to take the time to do that now, we're just gonna go to the left-hand side and we're gonna select system. And then from system, we're gonna go ahead and select administration. And then from there, all you need to do is type in what you want the password to be twice, and then select save down in the lower right-hand corner. If we navigate back to our status overview page, which is the page that you see when you first log into the gateway, you will see that now that banner is gone saying that, hey, you need to set a password. So we know our password took properly. Now I'm gonna show you how to configure this on T-Mobile 5G home internet on two different firmware variants. So we're gonna be doing this right now on Golden Orb, November 13th, 2023, which you can see right here. And this will apply for this date and anything older than this. And then I'm gonna show you how to do it on Golden Orb, November 27th, 2023 and newer because there were some UI updates and how we apply these settings is slightly different when it comes to configuring T-Mobile 5G home internet. The first thing we need to do to set this up is we need to revise or clone the IMEI number off of the back of your T-Mobile provided gateway with the Next Pro 5G. And on Golden Orb, November 13th, 2023, we need to go over to modem on the left-hand side and select miscellaneous, which will take you to an AT command terminal screen. You can choose to make this box a little bigger if you'd like to see more of the code, but the code that we're gonna type is gonna be at the top here where it says AT command colon, and you can see your cursor kind of flashing there. So from there, we're gonna type the code AT plus EGMR equals one comma seven comma a quote, your IMEI number off of the back of your T-Mobile gateway, and then you wanna close the quote. And it's imperative that you type this manually because if you don't, you try and copy and paste it from a Word document, you have a 99.9% .9 chance that it's going to change the type of quote. And I know that sounds crazy, but it's gonna give you an error that looks like this. And so if you get this error, when you type out all of that code and you click send command, you want to make sure that your quotes are good. So a good quote looks like this and a bad quote looks like this. But if you type it manually, that will ensure that all of the quotes are good. Uh, you wanna make sure there are no spaces in the code whatsoever. And when you think it's all good to go, you will just click send command. If you typed everything in properly, it should look like this, where it shows the command with your IMEI number, and then it says okay underneath it.
So as long as it looks like this, then we should be good to move on to the next step. And so from here, you wanna just restart your gateway to make sure that all the changes are implemented properly, and then it could read your SIM card and get registered on the network. So from here, we're gonna go up to System on the left-hand side, and then we're gonna select Reboot. And then from there, we're just gonna to click to reboot our gateway, and we'll be back as soon as that's done. Once you get rebooted and logged back into the gateway, if we go back to modem and then miscellaneous, back to that AT command terminal, if you'd like to change the serial number on your next Pro 5G gateway to match your T-Mobile 5G home internet gateway, you're gonna run the following command. Now this is not required in order to get it to work on T-Mobile 5G home internet, but just in case you do want to make everything match, this is how you would do it. So you're gonna run the command AT plus EGMR equals one comma five comma quote your serial number that you wrote down off the back of your gateway and then end quote. And then once you have everything good, you're gonna select send command. Now, just like before, you wanna make sure that you type this with no spaces, all caps, and you make sure that your quotes are good. If all of that is good, then you just select the send command. You should see something that looks like this where it says okay, and then you can reboot your gateway and you should be good to go. Now we're gonna switch over and I'm gonna show you how to do this on the newer November 27th, 2023 firmware, but we're still gonna go over to modem on the left-hand side and select miscellaneous, but you're gonna see here that the screen has changed. So now our AT command terminal is made up of a bunch of different stuff. We have this preset AT commands list, which gives us this really awesome dropdown. And all you need to do is select one of these and then select send preset command on the right. But for the purposes of changing your IMEI number or revising it, we're gonna go to the modem identity repair section and where it says change IMEI to, all you need to do is type in only the IMEI number off of the back of your T-Mobile gateway and then select apply IMEI repair. Once you do that, you are gonna get a warning message that says, hey, you're getting ready to change your IMEI number. This can be considered illegal in some countries, but in the United States, it's not. So all we need to do is select okay. And then it's gonna go ahead and send that command. Now, as long as you get the same response as you saw in the previous thing where it shows the actual command and then says okay underneath it, then you should be good to go. Now, likewise, for changing your serial number, you're gonna do that the exact same way. So where it says change modem serial number two, you can just put that in right there. You type only your serial number and then select apply serial number change on the right hand side and it will do the exact same thing where it sends the command, changes the serial number and you're good to go. I recommend doing these only one at a time and then rebooting your device just like we did previously rather than trying to change both of them at the exact same time and then rebooting. Now the easiest way to verify that your IMEI number actually changed in my opinion because it doesn't matter what firmware version you're on is on the left hand side under modem if we select network status that's going to take you to this page where you can see your modem IMEI number right here. And so as long as this number matches the number that you typed in your AT command or the back of your T-Mobile 5G home internet provided gateway, you should be good to go. Now another way that we could verify this is if you are running the firmware November 13th, 2023, and it actually would work for the newer one, but the newer one's a little easier because of the UI changes. You're gonna type in the AT command, AT plus QGSN, and then you're gonna click send command, and there's no spaces in that, and then it will output your IMEI number right here. Now, if you're running the November 27th, 2023 firmware or newer, you don't have to type this command to check your IMEI number. You can, and it will still work, but they have made it easier by using one of the preset AT commands. So all we need to do is select check current IMEI number from the dropdown list, and then send it with the send preset command button to the right. And you will see that it actually outputs the exact same response. I really like how user-friendly this new firmware update is. You don't have to have any AT commands memorized in order to get things done and get this thing set up. Now, if you tried to change your serial number and you wanna verify that that was successful, it doesn't matter which firmware you're on, you're gonna to have to type in the AT command, AT plus EGMR equals zero comma five. 
and it's gonna be all together with no spaces and then you're gonna select send command and it will output the serial number of the gateway right here. The next thing we need to do to get this working is we need to configure the APN and it's gonna be the exact same way regardless of the firmware version you're on at least as of the making of this video. So in order to do that, on the left hand side under modem, we're gonna click on connection profile. And from there, we're gonna scroll down and as you can see, it has these like custom profiles already built in. We're not gonna use either of those. We're gonna actually disable them by selecting the disable button in the middle of the page. And then we're gonna scroll back up to the top and where it says APN and it says broadband, we're gonna delete the word broadband and we're gonna type in FBB dot home. And from there, we're gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom and we're gonna select save and apply. After that, you will see that your configurations are being applied. And once that's done, we can go ahead and check and see if the internet is actually working. So I'm gonna just go ahead and open up Firefox web browser. I'm gonna go to my YouTube channel. And as you can see, it did load fine, but we're gonna go one step further. And I'm gonna try and just play a video just to see if it works. And as you can see, it loaded up pretty much instantly. So we should be good to go from here. Now I'm gonna give you some bonus tips. This is all you need to do up to this point to get your internet working. But from here, I'm gonna show you how to change the IP address of your gateway. So if you wanted to match a T-Mobile 5G home internet gateway of 192.168.12.1, I will show you that. I will also show you a couple of different ways in which you can change your DNS, both by the gateway uh, as a whole and by just changing the DNS based on the port that you have stuff plugged into, which is a really cool feature of this firmware. Coming back to the modem connection profile page that we were on to change the APN, if we just click on the advanced tab at the top, this is where we can change the DNS server for the entire gateway. So it says custom DNS server one through four, and you can put four different addresses in here, one different address, it doesn't matter. For the purposes of the video on this, I'm just gonna put OpenDNS's IPv4 addresses in here, but you can do two IPv4 or two IPv6 or two and two, whatever you would like. You can also change the MTU on this. So for T-Mobile Home Internet, uh, some people like to change that to 1420 from 1500. I don't personally do that because I found that when I do do that, my internet doesn't work very well. I have all kinds of crazy problems and everybody in my house just complains about lag and everything else. So I just leave mine at 1500 and I don't have any issues. But once you have all of that set the way you'd like, you just need to scroll down to the bottom and select save and apply. Now, if you wanna change your DNS just for a specific port, you're gonna to go to network and then interfaces on the left. And then as you can see, we have all of these different ports or interfaces that it lists here on this page. And each one of them is configurable by clicking the edit button on the right. So for this scenario, you can see that the LAN port is the only one that's green. And that is because that's the only active port that I'm currently using. So for this demonstration, I'm gonna select the edit button that corresponds to the LAN port. And then from there, we're going to select advanced settings from the top. And then where it says use custom DNS servers, this is where we can put in our DNS servers. So I'm not going to use any of these where it says 9.9.9 .9 and then all the ones underneath it. So I'm just going to delete them. And then I'm going to put open DNS in here again. And so all you need to do is type the number in and then select the plus button to the right. And I will do that for both of the IPv4 as well as both of the IPv6 addresses for OpenDNS. That way I can show you that it works. Now that we have our DNS servers inputted and everything looks good here, all we need to do is scroll down to the bottom of this page and select save in the lower right hand corner. Now this is gonna take us back to the network interfaces screen and you can see that our changes have been inputted because it says interface has seven pending changes right here at the top. Now to actually apply those changes, we need to scroll down to the bottom of this screen, which kind of seems confusing because you'd think we already saved them from the last screen, but we just need to scroll down here and select save and apply. And then we're gonna be presented with this pop-up warning that's basically saying, if you lose connectivity, do you wanna revert your changes? And we don't wanna do that. So we're gonna select apply and keep settings on the right. 
to apply those changes. Now the last thing I want to show you is back on the network interfaces screen and that is how to change the actual gateway's IP address if you wanted to change it from 192.168.1.1 to any other IP address or to the T-Mobile home internet IP address of 192.168.12.1 and to do that we're going to go back in and select edit on the LAN tab but this time we're going to stay on the general settings screen and we're going to go down to where it says IPv4 address and we're going to delete the 1.1 and we're going to change it to 12.1 and then select save. And then we're going to scroll down again on this and select save and apply. Now the difference this time is that because we changed the IP address of the gateway, even though it's going to take us back to this network interface screen, it's gonna time out. And so I can show you here, if I select edit, you're gonna get this timeout banner here at the top. And that's because it's trying to look for 192.168.1.1, which was the old IP address for the gateway. And we just changed it to 192.168.12.1. So we basically just need to go to our web browser, type in the new IP address, press enter or return, re-log into the gateway, and then everything should be good to go. I hope this video helped everybody get their T-Mobile 5G home internet service set up. If you were having any issues at all, please feel free to hit me up down in the comments and let me know, and I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. You can also try and use Haven Technologies support website. They do have a Facebook group and they have an online forum, which I will link all of that stuff down in the description as well. And without further ado, that's all I have for this one. Peace.